me. I feel like this shirt looks like a pajama shirt. So I put on this necklace to try to convince you that I'm not wearing pajamas. Although it doesn't really matter. Like what if I did wear pajamas? What are you gonna do about it? Also, my hair is wet. I hate the wet hair look and I usually try to wait until it's dry to film, but I don't feel like waiting. I just wanna also, before you try to educate me, I do know about the existence of hair dryers. I don't like the impact that they have on my hair quality. Anyway, what is this video about? Today is another Create This Book challenge video. If you weren't here for the first episode, basically there was this challenge going around YouTube where different artists were finishing the entire Create This Book in 100 minutes. So naturally, I decided to join in. You know, hey, it's Create This Book. It's can I, I should be a part of this, right? But of course I changed things up and did them my own way. I decided to give myself a three hour time window to finish create this book. However, I wasn't very strict on myself with the finishing part of it. I've been working on this for three hours. I completed 35 pages out of 230 because I wanted to find a balance between doing things more quickly in a way where we can just like throw out ideas and just be a little bit more spontaneous, but also not like rushing to the point Point where I cannot make anything recognizable. For the ideas that you guys really seem to like, I brought them back in later videos, redid the art in a more thoughtful way. I'm not gonna create any masterpieces today, but it'll be fun. The goal again is to finish the book. Do I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, truthfully, honestly think that I'm going to finish the book today? No, let's see. I just literally assaulted myself with the book. Last time I finished 35 pages out of 230 pages. So do I really think that I'm gonna do like 30? long to do the math. Do I really think that I'm gonna do like 160 more pages? Probably not. I can promise you this though. I will get further in the book. And that's a promise. So if I can do 36 pages in this video, that'll be a success in my mind. We've upped the ante here. Wow. We're just gonna enjoy the experience and I'm gonna try to keep a snappy pace and let the creativity work in a whirlwind of quickness. I guess I'll give myself the same amount of time, about three hours. It is 10.30 in the morning. I got until 1.30 to finish this book. So let's do this. Let's go back to where we left off. Boom. Oh, this is a terrible page to start with. This is absolutely terrible. Oh, I'm so distressed right now. This page is meant to be filled out over the span of a week. What do I do here? I'm already having a major meltdown dilemma right now. Um, sprinkles? Would... Would sprinkles help? I'm gonna just add sprinkles all over the place. Oh, why isn't this pen activated? What the heck? I have to spend time activating my Posca pen. What is this? Are we going? Okay, I think we're going. Sprinkles. I don't know what these have to do with the prompt, but I mean, they're not gonna hurt anything. They could never. Please enjoy the rushed remix of the sprinkle song because we're in a time crunch. <laughs> Okay, I put sprinkles on the page, but I'm still not feeling great about this. The page is not filled out, yet I am moving on. Create quick sketches. Draw something in one minute or less. Repeat drawing different things each time. Let me start my timer for one minute and go. Oh crap, I didn't think about what I was gonna draw. Shoot, wait, I need a, I need a good fine liner. Wait, does coloring count too or can I color outside of the one minute? I make the rules. Okay, what can I draw in one minute? Oh, I only have 40 seconds left. Ah! How about I just draw this? <laughs> that took me one minute. What the heck is wrong with me? All right, well, here's another one. Let's do something else. Um, um, um. <laughs> it's a YouTube play button. With hearts. Starting the clock again. What can I draw? What, what can, can I draw? A flower. Oh, this looks like Flobby. Something like that. Moving on. Start. I'm gonna make Flobby a friend, but she's actually happy. Another one. Sun. This does not look like a sun. This looks like a whack flower. What is that? I hate that. I don't know why when I draw something I hate, my instinct is to draw it again. Sometimes a really terrible thing looks better when it's repeated. Start again. I just need to fill this space right here. This is 
is a cloud. I want someone in the cloud. That's a blob. It's raining and the rain is his pee. We're done. I accomplished this. Now I'm gonna color it. The prompt does not say you have to color it within the one minute. Yeah, these suns are just about the worst thing I've ever seen. They're like sunflowers. Wait, that's a thing, not a sunflower. A flower that, that is, is also, also the sun. sun. Go ahead and color Flobby. She's the center of the daisy, which is why she's yellow. The question is, are all flobs yellow? Maybe like a tan color. So that's Flobby and Flobula. Flobs of Flobland. Let me just quickly color my little rain pea blob. He needs some luscious highlights because he is made of water. Okay, that's it. That's <coughs> It's kind of a vague, weird nature theme. Cool. Moving on, create a growth chart. Figure out a way to show some kind of growing process. Growing process, grow, what grows, what grows? Plants grow. I am not good under pressure. I think we have been able to witness that. Ding, 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 ding. Hair grows. Okay, so from like reasonably short hair to long hair to full out Rapunzel style hair. You know, part of me has always wanted to do something really funky like this with my hair, but I don't think I would have the motivation for the time commitment that it would take to maintain this. We'll just keep it brown. This is okay, right? Next. Create a collection. Start a collection. Document it here. A collection? I feel like these are hard. I, I think I'm thinking too much. Let's just make this easy. It's gonna be a bow collection. Yeah? Who has a bow collection? Oh yeah, my bow collection. Not a thing that somebody would say. <laughs> I think I just need a yellow bow. And here, and here. Come on now, live a little. Okay, that's not the best thing ever, but hey, I'm gonna let it live. All right, create a refusal. Choose one page. Oh, this page is not ideal for this challenge. Choose one page's instructions in this book to ignore. I think I'm gonna wait until I stumble upon a page that I really just don't wanna do. And I'll come back to this. Create a bumpy page. Lay this page over a textured or bumpy surface. I'm gonna put all my fine liners under here. Then I'm gonna draw. Ah, that is quite annoying. A nice, juicy, bumpy watermelon. That's how I like my watermelon. Bumpy. It's kinda cool. It's like a style. Get out of there, guys. All right, moving on. Create a page of stripes. Ugh. Give me an animal. Monkey? Let's do a monkey. Oh, I just broke my eraser off. I don't wanna draw the legs. <laughs> You know what? He's gonna have a banana. All right, monkey with a banana. Oh, stripes. <laughs> I'm supposed to be drawing stripes on this page. This one? I like this one. Fine. Let's do some stripes on the monkey. Even the banana is gonna be striped. Very cool. I don't know how I feel about these colors. They're a little bit jarring. Do we like him? Do we hate him? I don't really care. I'm moving on. <laughs> oh my gosh, another page that's not good. <sighs> Who wrote this book? Because it sucks. I'm just kidding. It's a great book. You should buy it on Amazon. The link is in the description. <laughs> This is fine, actually. This isn't a problem. You're supposed to use this page to practice your signature. Ooh, there's one more line on this side. Ah, what do we do? This is gonna be the special signature. It's golden. That's the one you want. So my signature is M-E for Mariah Elizabeth. It also happens to spell the word me. It's so clever, right? And then there's a heart because I am pleasant. Let's move on. Create art with wax. Why did I say wax like that? Because it's bold. Uh, decorate this page using only wax. I do have a candle burning over there. Stay here, pickle. <laughs> also crayons. Well, this candle was burning. Okay, so the candle's not happening. I have crayons. This is a special edition. It says includes confetti crayons. Oh, is this a confetti crayon? That doesn't look very confetti. -y. Maybe it shows up when you actually use it. How about we draw a confetti cake? Ew, it's horrible, bro. It just smears colors, creates a very ugly, muddy look. Thank you, no thank you, Crayola. <laughs> that is a bad idea. <laughs> Let me just use the regular crayons and try to make this better. I mean, yeah, okay, fine. Honestly, I don't really enjoy the experience of using crayons all that much. Why, if I don't like using crayons, did I put a crayon prompt in my book? Cause you know, you're supposed to like challenge yourself and uh. Shut up, I don't care. 
Why is my attitude getting worse and worse? <laughs> Let's move on. Create a pocket. Okay, so this page, you're supposed to like make a pocket in between the two pages and then like hide something in there. Let me get my glue stick. Ugh, they didn't tell me I had to exercise for this video. <laughs> Apply the glue here, close the page. These are a couple stickers I have laying around um, from some of my YouTube friends. I'm being really annoying today, I'm sorry. Stick those in here. And speaking of my YouTube friends, I just wanna pop in here real quick because my friend Jackie has sent me her newest kit. If you remember last time, I actually made an entire video testing her kit. I would love to spend some time using this one as well, but I wanted to let you guys know about it now because it's only gonna be available to purchase until September 21st, which is less than a week from today. Knowing Jackie, I'm pretty confident that it's a super high quality kit. I'm gonna make this a friendship themed pocket. Let's just draw some generic people. I'm trying to do like the simplest version of a human being. It's getting creepy over here. We'll give them all eyebrows, maybe that'll help. Nope. Okay, so I did a thing. These people represent friendship. The friendship is in the pocket of YouTube. And I drew a heart. Next page, create an ink blot. Drop ink, paint, or any other colored fluid onto this page. I need something that's very wet that also dries quickly. Okay, I just grabbed these from my bath bomb making supplies. Soap colorant. Oop. Oh, bloop, 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 bloop. All right, there's a bunch of drops. I'm gonna do the preschool butterfly thing. Whoa, that's so ugly. Awesome. Is there anything I can make out of this? We got a flower right here. Another flower. Oh, look at this. Another flower. This is not a flower. This is a blob. Okay, wow, that's so creative. What's next? Oh, a bloody mess. The ink bled through, I mean, not real blood. Create a page for stickers. Place stickers all over this page. Easy enough. I've been meaning to put these to use for ages. Definitely want this frog. Flowers are cool. Okay, that's good and fine. It feels very nice. I like how sticky. On the next page, create directions. Add your own directions for this page. I can do anything? Oh my gosh, that's like the hardest thing to do. Draw a... Should I draw? What should I draw? Le... A... La... Lutation. A lutation? <laughs> what is a lutation? Lunch? A lunch. What should we have for lunch? What are you hungry for? It's gonna be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I actually do not like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's all too mushy and saucy, but I do appreciate the aesthetics. I think it's really cute looking. Quite gooey, quite messy. It's perfect. On to the next page. Create a secret secret. Write a secret here, cover it up somehow. Okay, don't look. Can't see this. I wrote my secret here and I'm attempting to cover it up with this strawberry drawing. Whoops, I thought this was black, it's gold. Huh? Hey, why do I actually kind of like that? Wow, do you see? Do you see? If I wasn't rushing so much, would I ever have discovered a strawberry looks pretty rockin' with gold seeds on it? So there we go. Oh, <laughs> you can definitely see what I wrote through the page. If you're able to read that, you deserve to know it. This page says, create obscure shapes. Fill this page with unusual shapes. Okay, I always end up with the most random color schemes when I'm doing this because I'm just like grabbing colors willy nilly. I kind of like it. This color scheme is kind of interesting. Will I ever use this again? Probably not, but I feel like it's kind of nice. Log that away. Okay, create boredom, make this page boring. doodles fill this entire page with mindless doodling mindless be mindless Okay, I actually kind of got into that. I kind of forgot where I was. That's that page, doodles. And look at that. We are out of time. Where did I make it to? Page 72? Wait a second. How did I do that? I literally finished 36 pages. I beat my record by one page. Maybe I'll do this again, and next time I'll finish 37 pages. <laughs>
If you wanna see me finish the book in a couple more videos, let me know. These prompts, I feel like were a little bit more challenging, which if I remember correctly, the beginning prompts are like much easier and then they get a little bit more challenging. And then a lot of the really fun prompts are toward the end of the book. So I think if I did another video like this, I would get into some of my favorite prompts. This section was a little rough. It was, it was a little rough, okay. These were not my absolute favorite prompts of the book and they were a little challenging to do quickly. I had fun doing it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.